Hey there, in this video I'm going to show you how to archive items in Lightspeed POS. So I've got this product built. It's a very expensive 4 liter carton of milk and we are going to set this into archive mode. Why would you want to archive a product? Most commonly it's because it's discontinued or no longer available or perhaps you had to create a one-off item in your system and now you just want to delete it. When you archive an item, it basically hides it from search results and doesn't allow it to show up on sales receipts or purchase orders. So let's go ahead and click archive in the top right corner. Lightspeed is going to ask us if we're sure we want to archive this item. We're going to hit OK and then it is archived. If we go back to the search results, you'll see that when I type in milk, it doesn't appear anymore. Now if you need to go back and turn this item back on, we just click on advanced search results, click on archived, click search to refresh. And then we can click into the item and unarchive. And now of course it shows back up in the search results and now you can add it to receipts again. If you're using third party software like Accumula to push to your website, make sure your settings in that software is set so that when you archive an item in Lightspeed it pulls it off the website. One thing that would be really cool that doesn't exist at the time of this recording is in the report section under inventory reports. It'd be nice to see a list of all the archived items and to be able to filter that list down by things like the date it was set to archive, the employee that did the archive, uh, sorting by brand, by vendor, etc. That'd be particularly helpful with very large inventories. Anyways, that's how archiving works in Lightspeed POS. I hope this video helped you out. If you have any questions, leave a comment. I'm always here to help. Thanks for watching.